I will show you how to add auto clone effects on CapCut desktop. I will show you two effects here. Effects, auto clone. First bring the clips into timeline. Then go to effects. Then expand body effects, scroll down. Go to stroke. Choose dot shadow. Bring into timeline. Then adjust length with clip length. Select dot shadow. There is a color parameter. So you can adjust which color you actually like. So many colors for here. So I prefer this one. Then the filter. You can decrease or you can increase. I like this for the horizontal settings. If you decrease horizontal, you can make them closer. You can do like this. Then strength parameter. So how they are working, so I don't want too much. Range zero. Let's play it. So you see it has some issues. Increase horizontal to move these to clone effects. Far from original one. And then export. Effects. Auto clone. Bring the clips into timeline. Go to effects. Media effects body efforts. Scroll here. Go to clone. Choose doppelganger. Adjust the effect length same as the video clip length. Your video should look like this. Go to the right side details of this effects. You see all the details here. If you decrease twist, all the clone will become closer. So if you increase, they will spread onto preview area. And the strength. You can increase the strength. Amount. You can add or subtract clone from this parameter. If you decrease, clone amount will be decrease. So you can control the amount of clone from here. You can rotate like this. You can also add keyframe to give multiple style. For this clone effects, move your playhead and go to details and place the first keyframe. Move your playhead for add next keyframe. Decrease twist. Decrease the amount. Move playhead and add third keyframe. Increase twist. Increase strength. And I want to increase one more clone, so increase the amount. Increase rotate. Last keyframe. It's strength. Decrease rotate. See how it comes now. Export. Please subscribe to reach 1000 subscribers. Thanks for watching.